Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be uh, replacing uh, this plastic here on my 17 F-150 Platinum. As you can see, I had a little mishap with the garage door. Um, this has the 360 degree camera, bliss, power folding, you name it. Used, these are about 600 bucks, you know, as an assembly. Um, found a much cheaper way uh, to actually repair this with a mirror assembly out of a base model. Comes apart like so. It doesn't need to have the turn marker unless this is the portion you're replacing. I just want to show you guys how to take this all apart. Uh, I picked this up for about 70 bucks used off of eBay. Obviously saving you hundreds of dollars in the process. Uh, first things first, there's other videos out here that's going to show you a lot better than me on how to pop the glass out without breaking it. As you can see right here, there is, I guess, a channel. Um, you're going to put the mirror all the way in and all the way up. Take a flathead screwdriver, put it in there. Don't pry, but instead pivot the screwdriver. And it's actually just going to pop this right out. And as you can see, there's just two simple elements for the heated... Uh, portion as well as the connector for the bliss. Unplug those, the mirror comes out in one piece. Um, to actually take apart the mirror itself though, I already took this apart. So this is my donor mirror, so this is just the frame portion which I'm not going to need. Um, here's the skull cap and the uh, back portion assembly. But here's the piece I'm going to need. Not broken, fantastic. So I'm gonna, I uh, already took this apart um, just to be sure I was able to get everything apart. So I'll show you how to take everything apart on my existing mirror. So you're gonna need a T10 Torx bit. There's four little Torx screws that holds the back portion and the skull cap of the mirror together. So we'll simply undo these four. So this is also an option if you're wanting to replace just the skull caps. This is probably the preferred way to do it so you don't break any tabs on the skull cap, but uh, apparently technically, technically you don't need to do this to remove them, but your choice. So as you can see, this is already nice and loose. So we're gonna simply just pop off. I don't think that bottom screws out all the way. Okay. Simply remove the ones we can and set aside so we don't lose them. As you can see, it simply just pries away, like so. Let's go ahead and disconnect the side mirror, and there you have it. Set that aside. like one of those torque screws also holds in your turn signal light indicator if you're equipped with that. So that will just fall to the side. Next step, so on <clears throat> the front portion of this housing is held together with pretty much by pressure. Um, so you got these two guys here, which you're gonna wanna slide the housing outwards uh, but first, right down here, there is a simple tab. Once again, you'll take your flathead screwdriver. 
So that tab right here, simply pry it outwards. your bare bones assembly. Uh, to put everything back together, simply reverse the process and uh, voila, I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done. Alrighty, well, just got everything put back together. Mirror glass is back in in one piece. Mirror, everything fits as it should. Uh, to put the mirror glass back on, simply just line up that same tab with what you saw before taking it off, press it on evenly, and good to go. So hopefully this saves you as much money as it saved me. Um, Till next time. Thanks.